In this method, we are going to discuss about Newton Robson method. This method enables us to find the approximate solution of the equations written as f of x is equals to 0. Let us consider two dimensional Cartesian coordinate system where this horizontal line is called x axis, this vertical line is y axis, and their crossing point is the origin. Suppose the curve, this line, this curve is the graph of the function f of x. Now, the point where this graph crosses the x axis is basically the solution of this equation f of x is equal to 0. Now, the algorithm of Newton Raphson method says that we need to take few steps. First step is we need to you need to take an initial guess. So, the initial guess must be some value x on the x axis. So, we need to take initial guess. Let us say I am representing that initial guess as x i. For example, this is the point x i, then the corresponding point here on this graph of the function has the components x i and f of x i. If I draw a tangent line at this point, that would be the straight line which crosses the x axis at this point. Let us mark this point as x i plus 1 and the corresponding components are x i plus 1, 0 because at this point y value function value is 0. Now, from elementary calculus everybody knows that the derivative of the function at some point can be obtained by finding the slope of the tangent line at that point. So, the derivative of the function here at the point x i can be obtained by finding the slope of the tangent line which is the straight line from this point to this point. So, the formula can be written as f of x i minus 0 divided by x i minus x i plus 1. Now, if I rearrange this, I may write x i plus 1 is equals to x i minus f of x i divided by derivative of the function at x i. Now, this is the formula to calculate the approximate value using Newton-Raphson method. So, the second step is to calculate the approximate value x i plus 1 using the initial guess x i by the formula x i minus f of x i divided by the derivative of the function at x i. You should note that you need to take an initial guess x i such that the derivative of the function at x i must not go to 0. Right? Once we have found this value, we will check whether this is the required solution or not. If this value x i plus 1 is the required solution, then the function value at this point must be equals to 0. So, in the third step, we will check whether the function value at x i plus 1 is equals to 0 or not. If this is equals to 0, then x i plus 1 is our required solution. If it is not equals to 0, we need to take these three steps again and again and continue the, continue the iteration process until we get the required solution. Now, here in this second step, for the first approximate value, you need to put i is equals to 0. You will get first approximate value x 1 and that can be obtained by the formula so, i is equals to 0. So, this should be x 0 minus f of x 0 divided by the derivative of the function at x 0. For the second approximate value, I will put i is equals to 1. I will get x 2 that is the second approximate value and that is equals to x 1 minus function value at x 1 divided by the derivative of the function at x 1. Here you can notice that for the first approximate value, we have to choose the initial guess x naught to get the first approximate value and the next approximate value we will use the previous computed approximate value x 1. So, for x 3 we will use x 2 for x 4 we will use x 3. So, this is how the algorithm of the Newton Raphson method works. So, let us have a look at the example. Let us say we, we want to find the solution of the equation x square minus 3 is equals to 0. Now, everybody knows that the exact solution of this equation is plus minus 1.73205. Uh, this one is the exact solution. 
Now here in this problem, the function value is equals to x square minus 3, right. Now the algorithm of the Newton Thompson method says that we also need the derivative of this function which can be written as 2x. Now taking the first iteration, the first step is find the initial guess. We need to choose the initial guess. What should be that value? We can choose any value of x sorry this should be 2x. We need to choose any value of x such that the derivative of the function at that point must not go to 0. It means that 2x must not go to 0 or x should not be equal to 0. So, we can choose any value but not x is equal to 0. So, let let us choose, uh, choose the initial guess which is x naught is equal to 1. Then the function value at x naught is equals to 1 square minus 3. So, that would be minus 2. The derivative of the function at x naught that would be equals to 1 into 2 that is equals to 2. Now, the second step is we need to compute the first approximate value which is x 1 and it become can be computed as x naught minus f of x naught divided by f of dash x naught. So, if I substitute these values I will get uh, 1 minus minus 2 divided by 2. So, that would be equals to 1 plus 1 that would be equals to 2. Now, we will check in the third step whether the computed value x 1 is equals to 2 is our required solution or not. So, we will compute f of x 1. In the function if we put 2 that would be 2 square minus 3 becomes uh, 1 which is clearly not equals to 0. So, we need to take the second iteration. Now, second iteration first step is now we will we will utilize the approximate value x 1 to compute the second approximate value x 2. So, we will take the previous approximate value x 1 is equals to 2. Then the function value at x 1 is equals to uh, 2 square minus 3. So, that would be equals to uh, that would be equals to 1 and the derivative of the function that is 2 x. So, at x 1 is equals to 2 that would be equals to 4. Now, the second step is to compute the second approximate value which is x 2 and can be obtained by the formula x 1 f of x 1 divided by the derivative of the function at x 1. If I substitute these values that would be 2 minus 1 over 4 and the final value is 1.75. Now, we will check whether this value is our required solution or not. So, we will compute the function value at x 2 that would be 1.75 whole square minus 3 and the computed value should be um, 0 0.0625. And now this value is not equals to 0. So, again this is not equals to 0. So, we need to take the third, appro third approximation or third iteration. We will take the approximate value computed from the last iteration. So, we will take x 2 is equals to 1.75. Okay. Then the function value at 1.75 can be written as 0 0.0625 and the derivative of the function at x 2 is equals to 3.5. Now, we will calculate the third approximate value which is x 3 that is equals to x 2 minus f of x 2 divided by the derivative of function at x 2. If I substitute these values, I will write 1.75 minus 0 0.0625 divided by 3.5. When I calculate this, the final answer will be equals to 1.73214. Now, I will check whether this value is our required solution or not. So, I will calculate the function value at x 3. So, that would be 1.73214 whole square minus 3 
the final answer is 0 0.000308 now this value is not equals to 0 but I can say that this is equivalent to 0 that is sufficiently close to 0 so we can say that the computed value x3 is equals to 1.73214 is our required approximate value approximate solution so the final comment may be written as hence x is equals to 1.73214 is the required approximate solution